Austin Senior Facility, serving so many of the city's poorest people, says it is struggling. And now it is asking for your help during this pandemic. KXAN's Candy Rodriguez shows us how the pandemic is impacting it and the seniors in its care. Good morning, Candy. Hey, good morning, guys. And representatives with the Rebecca Bates Johnson Center say they're doing everything they can to keep coronavirus out. But the biggest need right now is a basic one. Nearly 200 senior citizens call the 16th story building off of I-35 in East Austin home. All the people who are here are retired blue collar workers or managers of a number of disabled people here. The center serves a group of the city's most economically disadvantaged seniors with some annual incomes less than $13,000. In order to reduce the risk of coronavirus for its tenants, the center got to work adding staff, two people at the front desk, and one custodian in case a tenant gets sick. But the board said spare no expense. It costs nearly $100,000 just to add additional staff and thousands more on cleaning supplies. We're cleaning all the time. Now the center needs help. They're asking for donations, raising money to help its seniors by preparing emergency food and supplies. To stop them from going outdoors, we, we just need some emergency food. So that is what we're asking for donations for. And they are no longer allowing visitors inside, only health care aides. Initially, the center thought about hosting a food drive, but they realized that would require a lot of hands on help and people coming to drop off those food donations. So they decided to take the online route and set up a GoFundMe account. We have a link to that on our website right now in this story if you would like to help. Tom. All right, Candy Rodriguez for us. Thank you, Candy. And the center is in the process of expanding. It'll add an additional building that'll have 279 units to serve more people in the community. It'll sit next door to the current building. It costs about $40 million to build. The new building is expected to be ready in roughly two years.